everyone, this is Jen. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making this two-piece box. It's a lid and a base. And this project is really good to use up some of your scraps. The base is a little bit bigger piece, but the lid is a smaller piece. And so, like I said, it's, it's kind of a, a really good project to use your smaller pieces that you've laid to the side or your scrap pieces. Now let me show you. This is going to be the base for our project, but this is one of my scrap bins of paper. So every time I have a partial piece that I've cut off or whatnot, I, I throw in here. I have another one as well. So um, I try to go to this as frequently as I can, obviously because I need to use some of it. This is what I found, and this is what we're going to use for the top of our box. So this base here, this is 6 by 11. I've already cut that. Our top part needs to be... Three and a half by seven and a half. So I'm actually going to go like three and five eighths because you want your lid to be slightly larger than your base so that it goes on with ease. You don't want to, if you make it just the exact same size, you might have a little bit of crimpling from where the lid goes on. So I, I always make my lid just slightly bigger, like an eighth of an inch bigger than the base. So I'm going to go to three and five eighths. And then seven and a half. I'm sorry, eight and a half. Sorry, eight and a half. I made that mistake earlier and um, it didn't fit. So it needs to be eight and a half. Okay, let's pull all this together. On your base, you're going to score all four sides at two and a quarter. So Two and a quarter on that side, two and a quarter that side, two and a quarter there, two and a quarter there. Okay, we're going to lay this to the side. Now on your top piece, you're just going to score at one inch all the way around. So one inch, one inch, one inch, and one inch. I'll just have to be kind of careful where I... Cut that a little too short. That's okay. All right, the rest of it is very, very easy to put together and assemble. This is also one of those projects. You can adjust the measurements and make so many more different sizes of these things. Use your pattern paper. You can design your own by stamping or embellishing however you want. Okay, everything is creased. Let's go back to our base. I'm going to cut on the long side of my paper. So on my score lines, I'm just going to cut in to that inner score line right there. Turn it around. Cut in there. And cut in there. I'm going to just flip it over. Obviously, the paper is the same on both sides, but I'm saying this is the inside. This is the outside. I'm going to use my tape runner this time. I'm going to go along on all four of these corners on the flaps, laying some adhesive down on the outside edges, and then we'll just fold those in, lining up the score lines with the edge of the paper. Okay, so this is the base of our box that's all put together. Now this is the top of our box. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut in on those score lines on the long side, and then I'm going to flip it over. Now because this is glitter paper, glitter paper is a little finicky when it goes to using adhesive. It doesn't really like, adhesive doesn't like to stick to glitter. So what I'm going to do is I have my hot glue gun on at the side. Um, I'm going to use that on these corners only because it's glitter paper. If it wasn't glitter paper, I wouldn't even consider it. Um, you could also use like, um, like a wet glue, like the Tombow glue. That would hold. I just like kind of the instant fix that the hot glue provides. So I'm going to go over and I'm going to hot glue all the corners and I'll come right back. All right, so I'm back. I have all the corners glued down. Here's the top of our box. We'll just grab the base and we'll slide this on top. Fits just perfect. Now I'm not gonna do anything, anything to embellish this. 
um, right now, but there's the basic project. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.